Alright, hey guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make mods for GTA 5 uh, with the uh, .NET script hook and script hook V. But we're going to be focusing on the .NET and C Sharp. So, you're going to need a couple things such as Visual Studio right here. I'll leave links for all of these in the description. But, um, once you're here, you want to get this purple one. The... Uh, but it's free so you don't have to pay for it but you just click download obviously and you go to that this one script hook v you just want to hit download right there and you're good and then script hook uh, v.net and you click that right there and it'll download for you and you need to download these two if you don't have them already or else your mods won't work so these are important too Alright, so once you've downloaded and installed everything, I'm assuming you know how to install Visual Studio. It's like anything else. But I'm going to tell you what you do with um, script hook v and script hook v.net. You want to find a folder. Well, you don't have to. This is just what I like to do to keep it organized. But you want to find somewhere to put it and put it in places like this. So put all the files in something called whatever it is. And put that in a place to remember so you have everything at once. And yeah, so once you have everything in there, you can open up Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, it won't look exactly like this. I'll have stuff over here and stuff. I just modified mine. You won't have all these recent stuff because those are my previous mods. But um, what we want to do first is uh, click New Project, come to Install or No Templates, Visual C Sharp and come down to class library what we want to do here is rename it to something like mod base or mod template or something because we're going to be using this as a base for all of our mods so once you have done that you click ok and all this will come up you don't need that crap um, so what we need to do first is find references right here right click it and add reference if you hear background noise, this is my dog, he's being stupid. But, um, come to references and browse and click browse. And then find where you put that script hook v.net. Find where you put that, open it up, double click it, and also we need to come where you put script hook v and find the script hook v.dll and click OK. Oh, wait, no. You don't need the script hook v.dll, sorry. You just need the script hook v.net. So you click OK. And all this will show up down here. Um, it's all good, as long as you see that. Alright, so once you got all that stuff, um, you'll have a blank page here, and all this on the side. So what you want to do is type using GTA, uh, semicolon, enter using system. Uh, using, using, sorry, um, using system dot collections dot generic. You don't necessarily need all of these, but I just write them down in case because you will need them once we get into more advanced tutorials. Uh, using GTA dot net and using GTA dot native. All right. So once you have all that. You want to do public class random attackers script and then there you go. I'm not gonna be explaining all of this um because I assume most people that are watching this know something about programming, so I'm not gonna be going too in depth. But if nobody understands, I will make more in depth tutorials. So people understand it better. Okay, so inside here, you want to put public, no, void, on check. But, um, as you can see here, the name of the script is random attackers. So that gives you a little hint to what we're going to be making. So, um, we're going to do some things inside of here. We're going to do public random attackers. Now you want this to be the exact same 
as um, this right here. So make sure that capitalization in everything. I'm going to write a couple things inside of here. We're going to do tick plus equals on tick. Semicolon. Key down plus equals on key down. Semicolon. Key up plus equals on key up. Semicolon. Alright, so under that we're going to do interval equals 10, which means every 10 milliseconds. Alright, so outside of here, you can tell if it's outside by um, clicking the brace right after uh, the statement. And I'll highlight the end of that um, function. So we want to go outside of it and we want to make void on tick. And inside of here, we're going to do object sender and key event e. No, even args. Sorry, my bad. And we're not going to put anything inside of there just yet. So, under that, we want to do void on key down, object sender key event args e. And using Alright, I forgot to add something into the add reference. Uh, you want to come down to assemblies and you want to find system dot windows, wherever it is, dot forms. Click OK. There you go. And it'll fix that. My bad on that. Alright, so under on key down, we're going to do on key up, and then object sender key event arg e. And we forgot the void. Void. Okay. So, basically, what this is, is just defining the project and um, checking on tick, key down, key up, and the interval, which is uh, every 10 milliseconds. So, say we want something to happen when someone presses a key. We would put that in here on on key up. If we wanted it to happen when they release the key, it would go on on key down. And if we wanted to check something every 10 milliseconds, or however much you sent the interval as, we could check it in here. So, as you guessed from the title, we're going to be spawning some random attackers with bats to beat the hell out of us. So, we're going to do that by if e dot key code equals keys dot um. Let's do J. This equals J. What we're going to do is first define a couple things. So, head player equals game dot character player dot character. Sorry. And then after that, we're going to do world dot create head. And then if you're confused what goes inside of it, you can hover over it and it tells you model model vector three position. So um, our model, how we get that 
is why we put gta.native. So what we will do is native gta.native dot head hash dot whatever pedestrian we want. So um what should we do? Let's do a clown. No. Business, whatever. And then vector three position would be actually no. We're doing this wrong. You can do it that way, but I'm gonna do it a different way. So what we're gonna do is vector three uh spawn no let's do lock equals new vector three no 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 sorry sorry I'm getting things confused alright um we're gonna do player dot position plus player dot forward vector times five. Oops, sorry. Not curly braces. My bad. Semicolon. All right. So this is vector three lock, which is um a position. So player dot position plus player dot forward vector times five, which is basically like five units in front of the player. So um what we're gonna do now is create the pedestrian. So we're gonna do ped ped equals uh, world dot create ped um we're gonna do a model to make a model sorry I'm concentrating um to make a model we're gonna do um ped hash dot Let's do business 01 AFR. You can do anything. It doesn't really matter. It's just the model of the thing. And lock. Okay. So this is creating uh, the pad of pad hash, which is basically its skin of business 01 AFY, which is a business person. And then um, the location will be lock right here. And if you're confused as to what goes inside the parentheses at any time, Hover over um, the dot and then the word, and it'll tell you model model vector three position. So it tells you that you need to have a pedestrian model right here, which we have. So pet hash dot business one afy, and then comma and then block. See, this is a vector three position. That's a uh, so it fits in there. So it's a vector three position, like it asked for right there. So it's going to spawn five units in front of the player. Okay, so we're going to show a notification that we spawn the pedestrian. So, gta.ui.show subtitle, parentheses, uh, quotation marks, semicolon, the end out here, sorry. And then inside here, we want it to be our message. So, we're going to say attacker spawned. Look, oh. Okay, so basically right now what would happen if we press J in game would be we would spawn a pedestrian five units in front of us as a business person with a notification saying attack or spawn look out. But they wouldn't do anything. They would just stand there like a normal pedestrian or walk around or whatever. So we want them to attack us and have a bat, right? So we're going to do that by ped dot weapons dot give and then in here weapon hash dot and we'll give them a bat ammo count we want them to have one bat we'll equip now we want them to equip equip it as soon as possible and bull is ammo loaded true even though a bat doesn't have ammo just put true okay so now they would spawn in with a bat, but they still wouldn't attack us, so there would be no point. So what we want to do now is ped dot um task dot 
attack. No, dot target. Fight against. No, fight against. Uh, uh, player. Okay, so now what would happen is the pedestrian. I was pointing at the screen. Sorry, pedestrian. Dot task. Dot fight against and player. See here we need ped target, ped player equals game dot player dot character. So we just put player in there. And now they'll attack the player. So we have a simple script right here. And this is as basic, basic, basic as it gets. So the way we try it out and play it is we come up here to build. Actually first, if you want to rename it, um right here you can right click rename we'll rename it to attacker no bat attacker and then we'll rename rename oh god sorry rename this uh bat attacker as well all right so now what we're going to do is build build solution and as you see down here no errors all that doesn't really jibber jabber it doesn't really matter but when you installed uh, Microsoft Visual Studio it would give you a place to um, export and build your projects so you want to go there I went to uh, GTA V modding projects and mod base right here and so mod base we have bad attacker.cs which we can put into our um, scripts folder in our GTA V, which I'll show you in a second, or uh, bin debug in modbase.dll. So either one works. I like using .cs. So we come into our Grand Theft Auto 5 um, directory, and I haven't showed you how to install scripthookd and scripthookd.net yet, which I assume most of you already know, but I'm going to show you anyways. So when you downloaded scripthookd and scripthookd.net, you got a couple files. And those files for scripthookd.net are right here. You want to drag them into your main directory of Grand Theft Auto 5 where all of your files are. Okay, so you put them in there, you're good. Scripthookd will come to, put that in there, you're good. That's it. Once you launch the game, um, it might give you a script folder, it might not. But you can create one now by new folder and all that, and then just write scripts like that. Okay, so we have this in here. And these are all my other mods, not mine. Some of them are, some of them aren't. But don't need to worry about those. So we come into here where we built our project. And we see badattacker.cs. We're just going to drag and drop that into our scripts folder. And then there we go. Delete that. Um, and yes. So we have badattacker.cs in there. So, theoretically, when we launch the game, it should load up and everything should work right. So, I'll see you. Alright, so we're in game. So, let's see what happens when we press J. Okay, so we see Let a set of spawn from that. So we can share all this. And as you saw down at the bottom, look, it says attack and spawn, look out. Likely type. So, everything's in order. They're gonna try to kill us with their bats, but I'm invincible, so have fun with that. But, I hope you guys enjoyed my first tutorial on how to write scripts for GTA B and C Sharp and Visual Studio. I will see you guys next time, and have a nice day.